We recently asked the people to tell us which TV couples they think have the least amount of chemistry. Here are some of the pairings people just didn't buy. She repeatedly told him that she wasn't interested, the writers made it very clear that they had different priorities and wanted different things, and they were simply forced together to suit a narrative that had been long outgrown. I've seen better chemistry in high school theater productions. Not only did they always feel weird and forced, but they also changed Izzy from being the best friend who was genuinely concerned about George to just a jealous friend who was secretly in love with him. They just had no chemistry and it was so unnecessary. It never felt like they truly liked each other for who they were, just the idea of each other. The show keeps trying to force them down our throats, but the chemistry is just not there. They made so little sense, and making them end game was a big middle finger to fans. I know there were many messed up things about Buffy's relationships with both Angel and Spike, but they all had chemistry. Riley was so boring. There were no sparks in their scenes together, and even his secrets didn't make his personality interesting enough for someone as lively, funny, clever, and intense as Buffy. Unlike Guzman and Nadia, who challenged each other, had great chemistry, and made each other better people, this relationship was completely awful and dull from start to finish. They had no sparks whatsoever and didn't even seem to like each other, plus the ship ruined Guzman's character development. T just looks like neither of the actors want to be there and it's really awkward to watch. Everything begins and stops with Joey and Rachel. Their relationship was totally useless and a waste of time. I don't know if cartoons can have chemistry per se, but if they existed in the real world, their relationship would be a train wreck. It just felt too forced. Their past should have made it impossible for them to be in a relationship, but somehow the writers chose to go with it anyway. We saw no development, they were boring, and Bellamy cared more about Clark than he ever did about Echo. They had zero chemistry and their love story felt rushed and forced. It didn't hold a candle to John and Igret's relationship, which actually had build-up and tension. It felt like the show just needed Caroline to have a boyfriend and Stefan had been single for so long. I will die on the hill that Caroline should have ended up with Klaus because they challenged each other to be better versions of themselves. The show tried to build up the tension, but it's just not there. Barry and Sisko on the other hand, would light up the screen. It was so forced and just felt like a way to add another obstacle between Blair and Chuck. I get that they matched on an intellectual level, but there was zero chemistry. I just skip over their scenes now. I understand that they got engaged for a plot device, but they had absolutely no chemistry whatsoever. I always get second-hand embarrassment when I'm re-watching. <laughs>